Hi everyone, meet Georgia. Georgia is my standard poodle, and look, we're doing a little bit of bathing this evening. So I want to talk about how I prep this coat. When it comes to a wool-coated dog, I just get them straight into the bath. I check them over, obviously, for any um, mats or anything by running my fingers through the coat, and I get them straight into the bath. Now, I'm using a hydro bath here tonight, and it is a lot different than what you would do in a normal when you're just washing the dog with your hands, getting your hands in there and getting them scrubbed out. But I'm using a hydro bath because of quickness and handiness whenever you're penetrating that coat and it, the, with, with the power of the hydro bath penetrates coat. And it also mixes the shampoo for you. So this, my choice of shampoo is the Big and Beautiful. The Big and Beautiful Grim Professional. What I do is I just Put a few drops on here into the bath, fill it one side up with water and that will dilute the shampoo for you. And this is what I'm using. I also would use on her sometimes because she gets dry skin and underneath this coat flaky dry skin. So I would also use a wee bit of uh, aloe wonder sometimes. And sometimes I mix it just to make it easier for, the, for her coat to give a wee bit of moisturizer. Especially running around the skin, I also use the Aloe Wonder. But tonight my choice is the Big and Beautiful because I'm doing a wee bit of creative on her this evening. And I'll keep you updated about that and you can have a wee look at it on my page when I'm finished. But um, I am trying out new things tonight. So I've got a new toy and I want to try it and see how it works. So um, anyway, this is what I do for the bath. I bath the dog in the Big and Beautiful shampoo. And then I'll show you exactly how this thing works. It is fantastic. So it's just a hydro bath. Put it on the wash. Stand her up. Stand up, Georgia. Look, shampoo goes out the book dog. Go straight away. Clean that coat. That is a burner thing. That is a burner thing. Fantastic. Oh, you can see this. George doesn't want to get fat tonight. He wants to be running around the garden and get all dirty, but I'm um, doing a few wee things on her tonight to try and practice new, new tricks, as they say. So, this is the kind of thing dogs normally do on their spare time. And tonight I haven't anything to do, so this is what I'm doing with her. It's a wee bath. The reason why I use Bike and Beautiful is because it will my this coat and I love it for this type of coat. Especially when you're going to do something with it or you're going to cut it or whatever. Scissor in it or something new side or whatever it is you're doing with it, it is right up for this type of coat. Turn right, Georgia. Turn right, see here. Shampoo just penetrates the coat of this kind of bath. My choice is all going to be for this type of coat that I can get for. I love it. That's how I wash my dog. Big and beautiful, I do it with most well-coated dogs. Big and beautiful, and I use them in a hydro bath. I hope you can see. 
I know you can only see my belly, but <laughs> big and beautiful, and I use it in the hydro bath um, for a standard puddle or any big dogs like this. And the hydro bath's fantastic, look. Great wee thing to use in their salon, only if you have one, obviously. But then I will get out my Grim Professional chamois, and I will chamois dry the dog. Just by giving it a wee squeeze. This thing is fantastic. It sucks the water off the dog's coat. They are brilliant. This, then she would be mad at solid very soon. So this is what I use here. Hypo Cleanse Pro. It's a wee bottle of disinfectant and I just put a wee drop onto the bot bottom of a wee basin and drop all those wee towels and they leave it lying there all night. So good through in the morning, take them out and rinse them in the bath and that's it, ready to go. This stuff is safe on even washing the dog's bowls and things, it's fantastic. But anyway, this is what I do for my prep for this type of dog. A wool coated dog. And then I take out my amplifier, slicker brush, and I go through the dog's coat, just to break up the coat. And this is the only time that I do this is when, it, when the dog's wet. I use them also when I'm drying the dog, obviously, but when the dog's wet, this will help separate the coat and make it a lot easier to dry. So just give it a quick brush through. It's, it's, there's no point doing this whenever the dog's coat's dry before the bath when you're working with this type of coat because you can break the coat as you can see but the hair won't come out but when it's lubricated when it's wet then it'll do the dog's coat no harm just a quick brush through while I'm doing this. That's why I prep this type of coat. Thanks for watching. Bye.